Tubal Cain and Ancient Freemasonry, by Past Master McHenry. Tubal Cain was a biblical figure who was the first blacksmith and a master of metallurgy. He was also a descendant of Cain, the first murderer, and the son of Lamech, who killed two men and boasted about it. Tubal Cain had three siblings, Jabal, the father of shepherds and geometers, Jubal, the father of musicians, and Nama, the teacher of reading and weaving. Tubal Cain and his family were among the Andaluvian patriarchs who lived before the Great Flood that wiped out most of humanity. Tubal Cain is a symbolic ancestor of Freemasonry, as he was the first to work with metals and to teach others his craft. He is also associated with Vulcan, the Roman god of fire and metalworking, who was worshipped by the Kabiri or Cyclopes, a race of giants who built many ancient structures in Greece, Egypt, and Asia Minor. Some Masonic historians believe that Tubal Cain was the hierophant or leader of a secret society that preserved the knowledge of the arts and sciences before the flood. He is also said to have inscribed his discoveries on two pillars, one of marble and one of clay, to protect them from fire and water. Tubal Cain is mentioned in the third degree of Freemasonry, where he is called the widow's son. This name refers to his mother Zilla, who was a widow after Lamech's death, but also to his father's profession as a bronze worker or coppersmith. The term widow's son is also used to denote any master mason, as a sign of brotherhood and respect. It implies that all masons are sons of the same mother, the widow, who symbolizes the universal source of wisdom and light. It also reminds them of their duty to assist and protect each other, especially the widows and orphans of their deceased brethren. Tubal Cain is also connected to Hiram Abif, the legendary architect of King Solomon's temple, who was also a widow's son. Hiram Abif was the son of a widow from the tribe of Naphtali and a bronze worker from Tyre. He inherited his father's skill and became the chief builder of the temple, where he was entrusted with the secrets of a master mason. He was killed by three ruffians who wanted to extort those secrets from him, but he refused to betray his trust. His death and resurrection are reenacted in the third degree ritual, where the candidate is raised as a master mason by the grip of the lion's paw or Tubal Cain. Tubal Cain is a symbol of strength, courage, fidelity and brotherly love in Freemasonry. He represents the spirit of craftsmanship and innovation that Masons strive to emulate. He also embodies the ancient wisdom that Masons seek to preserve and transmit. Tubal Cain is one of the links that connect Freemasonry to its biblical origins and its mythical past. If you like this information, give me your like and comment I will keep useful information coming and more awesome figures in Freemasonry to research. Let's get to the light.